Hello everyone, this is my unboxing for Record of Agress War Zero, the limited edition, and I picked it up for the Xbox 360. And now I do know that I'm almost like a week late uh, for this video. Um, I wanted to actually do an unboxing for this on the same day that I picked up Duke Nukem Forever on the Xbox 360, because they came out on the same day, which is uh, June 14th, 2011. But uh, I went to Walmart to pick up Duke Nukem because uh, I was working that night and uh, they didn't have uh, this game so I had to go to an EB Games and then they only had the PS3 versions and not the Xbox, well they had the Xbox 360 versions but they couldn't sell them because they were priced at zero dollars, ironic right? And zero, well, anyway. Uh, so I finally did get to pick it up though and I picked up the limited edition which is a hell of a ton thicker. Uh, just to give you a reference point here. Uh, Duke Nuke, uh, how the hell am I going to do this? There you go. So, yeah. Oh, I could have just showed you the side and showed you the game. God damn it. Anyway, uh, here we go. So, this is the front cover. Uh, and all I know about this game is that it's an, a JRPG. Here's the uh, side sleeve here. Uh, JRPG. Um, and this is the prequel to the first one that uh, came out in Japan and America. Uh, let's get a closer shot of this because this is kind of cool. Uh, so that just shows you what comes with the limited edition there, a uh, bunch of extra stuff. And it was only actually 10 bucks more, it's uh, normally $50, and uh, the ex the for all this extra stuff, uh, it's uh, this is the bottom here, uh, it's 10 bucks more. Uh, so 50 bucks normally, 60 bucks for the limited edition. Alright, so let's get this open. Yeah, so I've never actually played uh, the first one uh, that came out, uh, I think, last year in, in North America. And the second one is out, I think, in Japan, but not in the uh, North America yet. So if I like this game, maybe I'll pick up the other ones. Okay, so, um, it's, uh, there's a lot of stuff. So this is the box, and I don't know why, I don't know if there's anything in there that's just there. Uh, Okay, so here's the game. I'll take a look at that afterwards. Uh, this is the soundtrack. Uh, okay, that's cool, I guess. The, um, this is the character data guide, so I'll take a peek, quick peek at this then. Um, well, that's kind of cool. It just has a bunch of all of their stats and their picture on the left side there. Yeah, it's not too bad too. Uh, I kind of like the uh, the look of this game, um, and I think that it's yeah. I think it's a pretty sexual game, but it's or only rated teen, so yeah, um, yeah. Okay, but I have no idea about this game, so I, I was just like, I want to play a, an RPG. I haven't played one in so long, so I'll pick up a new one. Um, this is really really neat. Um, I guess it comes with two decks of cards here. Um, of course, they're going to be very hard to get out. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, so just your regular stick, deck of cards, and that's about it for that. And this is a lot smaller. Uh, I have no idea. I, maybe these are collectibles or something like that. Do new, but they're very hard to get out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, this is the back, and these are the cards. I have no idea what the heck this is. Okay, that's that's some more cards though. Um, now let's take a look at the actual game. Uh, where's my knife? Uh, just bear with me for one second here. Yeah, this is gonna be a very long video, much longer than my normal unboxings, but. I guess that's what you get for a limited edition. Um, uh, okay, so this is the front cover here. Uh, basically the same as the other side there. This is the side sleeve. Woo! Zero! Uh, and... Shows you kind of like what the gameplay will look like. Um, it does. It actually doesn't look like they're the best graphics at all. Like, you could probably get this on the PS2 easily. Um, but, you know, with RPGs, it's more so about the story and slightly the gameplay than the actual, um, graphics. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's the disc, and this is the, and I am just loving that some of the games lately are just coming out with the, uh, you know, the hardcover, uh, backs, 
So they're not the, the friendly, eco-friendly stuff that just makes you want to go buy a regular uh, disc to put it in so you're wasting even more. And this is the manual, which is black and white. Uh, that's too bad, but uh, it's pretty long. And it seems like it would actually be kind of some useful information, which is cool, but very plain that it's black and white. This is the first black and white that I've had in a while. Anyway, so that's uh, Record of Argus War Zero. And goodbye, everyone.